Welcome back everyone. In today's episode we're going to be looking at Back for Blood's beta. So uh, yeah, uh, it was quite interesting. I was able to play it on the old PlayStation 5. I mean, I don't know what it would be like on the uh, PS4. I'm pretty sure that there is like a cross-generational bundle. Uh, I could be wrong with that. And after looking it up, I'm not wrong. It turns out that, yeah, you can uh, play it on the PS4, PS5, PC. Uh, so, yeah, the open beta was out for a couple of weeks. I, I say a couple of weeks. It was out for a weekend. You know, I'm pretty sure it was uh, during, like, the, the 19th or the, the 24th of this month. It was something along the lines of August time that we you could play for a limited time. And it was really good, actually. I was quite surprised on how good the graphics are, especially in, like, today's day and age where, like, you know, you don't know what kind of game and stuff you'll be getting later on. Uh, because obviously, in, in especially in like alpha gameplay or in beta gameplay, you know, sometimes it's not fully finished, it's not fully there. I mean, you know, depending on how you play the beta will depend on how you get the game. Uh, one thing I can say for a fact though is that this game is very, very hard. Um, of the small time that I was like actually playing the game, it was very, very difficult to kind of get used to the uh, mechanics and the way that the game is actually played. If you consider it like if you were comparing it to a Black Ops game, for instance, this game is very, very different to like the, that kind of zombie experience. So with that in mind, when you're playing this game, it's not down on, on a wave base as in like round one, round two, and it gets harder and harder. It's kind of hard as soon as you start. Obviously, the waves themselves are harder the later, uh, the further you go into the level. But in the sense of that, once you start playing this game, it's like it, it kind of just throws you in straight away in the deep end, which is pretty good. I'm not uh, disagreeing with that at all. I think it's a, a very different game, uh, especially with the way that it's played. And it was running really smooth on the PlayStation 5. Again, like I said, the PS4, I'm not too sure about how that how that worked or how it ran all i do know is is that on the five it was very very enjoyable to play uh, although in saying that though there are a couple of gripes i have uh, i was only actually able to play with bots i was only ever allowed to play with one person and as you can probably see through the gameplay it's very very glitchy what he's just standing there menacingly So yeah, the glitches on this game are very, very um, uh, amusing, if I do say so myself. I grit it that it's a, it's a beta gameplay. I do understand that the beta, it does what it's supposed to do, and it kind of shows you how the game's played. But through my experience, especially with the bots, uh, they were more of a hindrance than an actual help. Uh, I know that sounds very, very counterproductive and very silly, but that is exactly how I, it was played earlier on. It was a very, very... Uh, odd experience and it didn't leave a very good placement in my heart about this game albeit it was a, it was a good experience to understand how the games play to get an understanding of the physics and stuff but the glitches in this game are definitely uh, far and few between but to be honest with you, I think that kind of wraps up this kind of video. It was only ever going to be a short one. Obviously, with it being a beta, I do understand that certain games and, and the way that the uh, gameplay and the gunplay is held is obviously very dependent on the type of build that you've got. And I'm pretty sure within the final release, a lot of the things that I'm griping about or, you know, have brought points up to, I'm pretty sure will be changed about how the bots need to be tweaked, about how certain guns are obviously way more overpowered than other guns are. But the uh, the main issue with this game, like I said, they're definitely the uh, the glitches and the fact that the bots aren't very helpful in the sense that they'll just follow you everywhere and anywhere that you can possibly go to. But it was enjoyable. I'd be lying to say that if they didn't put it on a sale that I wouldn't get it. Obviously, knowing about the previous game where it was Left 4 Dead and that Left 4 Dead game and stuff, and I know a small amounts of that. I used to play back in the day with some of my friends when we had free times over in a, you know, secondary school. So it was pretty. I, I'm pretty familiar with how this kind of game works. Uh, but with the actual beta itself, obviously, like I said, it, it was good. It was definitely enjoyable. It's something to look out for, especially if it does go on sale. It's meant to come out soon, anyways. And the graphics of this game are very, very good. Considering it was a beta, the graphics for this look fantastic. And like I said, this is PlayStation 5 gameplay. I've not upscaled it. I've not tried to, to change the way that the game looks. What you see is just pretty much raw footage from, you know, how I would normally edit and record a video. So yeah, I was very, very impressed with the beta. Albeit with the small gripes, which are the points that I keep bringing up. 
But apart from that, this is definitely one to look out for, especially if it goes on sale. Uh, so I'm not going to let this video go on for much longer. I want to thank everybody for taking the time out to watch this video, and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Peace out.